<laughs> Most revered audience, many years ago, I went to the city of Serendipo. I was a magician who could command white magic, black magic, red, green, and even blue. As soon as Deramo, the king of Serendipo, heard that I had arrived and was staying at the Inn of the Ape, he summoned his trusted minister and said, Tartaglia, for this was the minister's name, go to the Inn of the Ape and bring back Sigaloti, the magician. That's me. The obedient Tartaglia conducted me to his monarch. I haven't the time to describe the rich treatment I received, but I must tell you that I had with me two magic secrets, two marvels, two spells that were as follows. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not allowed to say because I would dry up your curiosity and steal the pleasure that heaven willing lies in store for you. However, one day I said to him, Deramo, in the spring of 2021, these two secrets will be the cause of great wonderment. At that time, I will go, in the shape of a parrot, to the Traveling Tabletop Theater. Note the date, spring 2021. I will be in the forest surrounding the quaint village of Yellow Springs, where, after being captured by a buffoon birdcatcher, I will work great spells and bring happiness to your kingdom. That evening, the humble birdcatcher shall have twenty gold coins as a reward for his faithful service. Well... With this, I cast off my human form and became a magnificent parrot. Hark then, revered ladies and gentlemen, to the extraordinary events that will take place in June 2021. At that time, the bird-catching clown Truffolino will take the magic parrot to the traveling tabletop theater for all who have assembled to see the story of the King Stag. And then, collecting the twenty gold coins, he will drink a toast to all assembled, wishing you what you deserve, peace, wealth, and good cheer. Daughter, we certainly have been lucky in this kingdom of Serendipo. You have become a lady of the court. I, Prime Minister, Everybody fears me and the king favors me, but now, my darling Clarice, it's time for a great leap upwards, for if you obey me today, we'll see you crowned queen. Queen? How? Yes, queen, queen! You know how a few years ago, King Doramo questioned 2,000... 748 damsels, ladies, and princesses in the privacy of his chamber. And I have no idea why. Churn them all down. For four years now he sworn he'd never look for a wife again. I know. I can't believe he would want me for a companion after rejecting all those titled ladies. Girl, girl, what I say will happen. Let me finish. Yesterday, I reminded him that he has no heirs and telling him that the people feel unhappy, if not rebellious over it. And I finally persuaded him to look for a wife again. But he has this obsession with interviewing girls in the privacy of his chamber. Now, prepare yourself for the interrogation. You're my daughter... You are not a monster. Present yourself to him properly, and you'll be queen by the end of the day, and I'll be the most illustrious, happiest man on earth. Father dear, spare me this trial. I implore you. Minx, do you refuse to obey me? Do you have a secret peccadillo? 
No, none. But I'm nervous. I won't make that good impression at the interview and he'll reject me. Reject you? Nervous? Out of the question! He has too much regard for me. We must go. It's time. He's waiting for you in his study. No, father. I can't. I won't. I'll rip off your ears. I'll slit your nose. Come and swear you'll behave or else. Father dear, I cannot. I may as well confess. I'm in love with Leandro. I won't have the strength in front of the king to disguise my feelings. Leandro? The son of Pantalone, the second minister. Now listen here, Clarice. If you mention this loathsome love of yours to the king, if you don't make him pick you, we are going to him right away. Don't make me say anything else. Have pity. How can I wrong my friend Angela by competing with her? She desperately loves the king. In, in love with the king? Angela? Pantalone's daughter? Angela? My heart throbs. I meant to take her as my wife today, by love or by force. Listen, Clarice, and tremble. If you do not immediately appear before the king, if you mention you love Leandro to him, if you do not act perfectly when you're with him, if you do not compel him to pick you, if you repeat any word I've said here, I have poison ready. I'll obey. If you want to see me rejected, humiliated. No more delay. Do as I say or look out for your life. Be seated, Clarice. There is no need to feel odd because I am your king. Answer my questions friendly. Your father's service to me in war and peace has given you the right to say what you think. Hold nothing back. Wouldn't any woman welcome an illustrious match with a king who is so sympathetic and virtuous? No, my dear. You're evading the question. I must know what you yourself feel. I realize that innumerable other women might welcome such a marriage. But you, Clarice, are not part of this innumerable throne, are you? This is what I must know. Good heavens, he's insistent. Your Majesty, can you believe I'm the only one among them who's foolish enough not to seize an opportunity like this? You still speak ambiguously, Clarice. I am asking what you your own feelings are. Would marrying me please you, or would it not? Father, your cruelty forces me to lie. Yes, my king, it would please me. I understand that you feel reluctant to say no, but let me beg of you this last time. Respond without giving fear of offence. Are you in love with someone else? Oh, cruel father, I have to lie for you or lose my life. No, majesty, I love you and only you. I have never loved another man. Good enough, Clarice, that's all. I won't encourage or discourage you. Now I must hear from the others and finally make my decision. Goodbye. I can only hope he rejects me and lets me remain Leandro's. And who is this? My valet sister? Hello, and you are? My gentle lord, I am the sister of Brigella. We were a family of consequence. Then ill luck impoverished us, 
and so on and so forth. But poverty cannot undermine noble birth, can it? I understand. So you love me? I am utterly yours. Tell me more if you will. What if I choose you for my wife, and then I die, and left you a widow? Would that make you sad? Brutal man! What are you saying? Bite your tongue, you tiger in human form! Alas! Help! Merely thinking about your death makes me want to swoon. Only one more question. Are you a widow or unmarried? Your Majesty, I've never even had a boyfriend. Very good. You may go. I can assure you that of all the women who have graced this study before me, before you, not one has given me such delight. Now I must sit and ponder. Goodbye. You couldn't tell, Your Majesty, but I was choking back the most sweet, the most touching feelings. An ocean of devotion. Farewell. 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 Done. He's cooked. I will be queen. Farewell. <laughs> Farewell. Here, Tartaglia, this is the perfect spot. True, Your Majesty, the perfect spot. He never gives me enough time. We are sure to see some game run by and provide some fun. Definitely. My hand is shaking. As soon as I cut him down, nobody's around. I'll toss him in the stream. It was... Here! as I recall. Did I once get down a stag? That is correct. So I do remember. But my heart won't stop pounding. Nobody's around. Where are the others? Away over there. Damn, I needed one more second there. Tartaglia, you seem depressed. Preoccupied. Something made you sad, my friend? It troubles me to see you like this. It always cheered me up in the past. And if anything is wrong, please say so now. That's that. I'll wait for the next chance. I've never been such a coward as I am today. Nothing is bothering me, Your Majesty. No? You seem upset to me. Perhaps it's about what happened earlier. Out with it now! Come, sit here. Let's chat like good friends. I'll mix truth with lies. He'll never catch on. Very well, Your Majesty. I will not suppress my disappointment any longer. My humiliation. How? You're my most trusted associate. Your reasons. Speak up. Speak freely. I've served you without stint for 30 years, Your Majesty. And you know I've given you my best advice in times of peace and war alike. How often have I faced dangers during the grim battles we fought because you rejected the daughters of so many powerful rulers? I've spilled my blood, risked my life. But if I had died by those wounds, at least I'd feel less humiliated than I do today. And by you. The man I love is myself. You are right, Tartaglia. I've been remiss. But to make it up to you, to show that I value you above all other friends. Before we leave here, I'm going to share the other secret with you, the greater one. On this scroll is a verse, a spell of infernal power. Here's how it works. 
When you recite these words over any dead animal or man, your soul passes on into the dead body, while your own body lays lifeless. Wait, uh, you mean that if I was to recite the spell over the do- body of a donkey, I give up my body in exchange for the donkeys? Does that have an advantage? Tartaglia, you insult me. Let me finish. The animal with you inside it can speak the same words over your body, and then it dies again, restoring you to your life as yourself. So effective, this charm, that I've passed from time to time into a dog, a bird, some other creature. From now on, you, Tartaglia, will share this real charm. We'll learn it by heart, my friend, and don't tell me I don't love you. If this is true, I see a way to work my revenge and win back Angela. My king will give my thoughtless outburst, which was purely a result of my love for you. The secret is formidable; is a formidable one, and you've made it a token of, our, of your generous confidence in me. Rise, my dear friend. Uh, I know your daughter loves Leandre. I'm going to give him the castle of Kettering. Let Clarice marry him to comprehend for her rejection. My, my, and my despairable Angela, who is still not mine. Magnanimous king, how may I ever show my gratitude? There's no need. Learn the magic formula, and let's move on to a better place for hunting. Cra, cra, trif, traf, not signif. Signifliet kanata uta riogna. Horrible words, very difficult for me. But at least I know how to make use of them. Did you hear shots? Where is everyone? I thought for sure they brought down a rhinoceros. Oh, there they go, running up the hill. Totaglia. I see two hags heading this way. Undercover fast. By God, they're beauties. Bravo, your majesty. We both did well. I'll send the stags as a gift to my darling wife. What an idea I have. If I could manage it, I'd get my revenge and then he'd never enjoy my Angela again. Let's try. These stags are certainly dead, Majesty. No doubt about it. Not a movement. Now, um, good king, for just for fun, could we experiment with the spell and take over the bodies of these stags? Maybe trot up the hill, perhaps admire the view. Just for a moment, a quick moment. To be, to tell you the truth, I can hardly believe the spell's possible. Yes, we could do it. You'll see I wasn't exaggerating. Hurry then, speak the magic words over the stag. Uh, well, I'm a little fearful, your majesty, but put off by the sight of death. You know, (laughs) you'll laugh at me because I'm uh, nervous. (laughs) I understand. You don't believe in it. I realize that what I said sounds unlikely. I'll go first. You'll see I was speaking the truth. Then right as I do it, you go. Craw, craw, triff, triff, not, signaflet, kanata uta. Ryogna! It's a miracle. I'm besides myself. Courage, Tartaglia. At last, the moment for my revenge and happiness. Take over his body, the kingdom, and my precious Angela in his likeness. Once I'm king, what do I have to fear? This is perfect. Rest in grief, Jeromo. Now I'm king, ruler of this realm, and Angela. Cra, cra, triff, traff, not 
Sieg die Flit. Kanatauta Ryogna. What do I have to fear? Who's lucky? I can do away with everyone I suspect or dislike. As for you, old body, I must fix you so that Doramo, who's now a stag, cannot create confusion in my court. Lie behind this bush, poor body of mine. I do not regret or envy your state. Here they come, the ministers. Our first command, to chase and slaughter the stag that Doramo's spirit is inhabited by.